So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna find your network adapter, make sure that it's been enabled and it's not disabled. So in my case, it's been disabled, so I need to enable it. So I'm gonna right click on it and then click on enable. Make sure that your network adapter has been enabled. See if that works for you. If your network adapter was already enabled, then in that case, for the second method, you wanna take note of your network adapter name. My one's called the Intel R Pro. Your one might be called something else like Realtek or something else. Anyways, once you take note of the name, you now wanna head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna expand network adapters. And you now wanna find that same network adapter with that same name that we took note of. Now you wanna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for your device installed. See if that works. For the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. Now you wanna find networking internet. Click on run. And now this will come up. If it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. For the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in msdt.exe space dash id space network diagnostics network adapter click on enter and now this will come up you want to click on next wait for this to load if it detects anything it will try to fix it for you for the last method just try simply doing a restart of your computer see if that works for you 